guys, Kat here, and we are in day three of our warrior challenge. Today we'll be working on all lower body strength. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest. And then don't forget, your warrior paint. All right, let's get warmed up, Rawr. All right guys, nice and easy, we're gonna do some back lunges. So you're gonna step that leg back, and then sink straight down. Now, if this isn't for you, what I want you to do is either step back, sink down as low as you can without pain, or you can stick with squats if single leg stuff just is not for you. So go ahead, let's alternate legs. And pew. Keep it going. Sink it down, sink it down. Ayo. Remember, you want to press midfoot to heel on that front leg. Think about elevator, not escalator. You don't want to shoot forward or shoot back. You want to sink straight down. All right, so one more on each side. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. Feet out. We're gonna sink down side to side and then bring it up. Sink down and then bring it back. Really think about pushing your butt back. Again, you want to distribute the weight midfoot to heel. The other leg stays straight and then keep both feet planted on the ground. I'm gonna be using a pair of 15 pound dumbbells today. I want you to go at your own pace though. Use whatever works for you. You might switch out for a few different ones or use lighter or heavier. Let's go one more on each side. Last one. And go ahead. Bring it around time. Bring it around time. Open up those hips. Working on that stability. Keep your core strong. I know I feel a few crinkle crackles here. So if you do too, it's okay. As long as there's no pain. Bring it around time. I've noticed as I've gotten more flexible, I have less crinkle crackles. So one more each side. <laughs> Last one. And working on stability again, what we're gonna do is stabilize on that right leg. You're gonna move that left leg forward and back and swing it. So again, stability, baby. If you need to hold on to like a chair or press your hand up against a wall, you can do that. I'm sure all of you have walls somewhere, unless you're doing this outside. There's gotta be like a fence or a tree or a puppy. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. Maybe not a puppy. You can also swing your arms to counterbalance. Counterbalance this fun. One side might be more challenging, so don't be too surprised. Woo! And go ahead, shaky, shaky. Now if you do have that wall, what I want you to do is take that right leg, you're going to swing it up and back. If you don't have anything to stabilize, I want you to swing as much as you can. You might not be able to get up as high, and that's okay. We're trying to increase range of motion here, really just trying to warm up those legs, those hips, getting some flexibility into our movement so our, our lunges don't feel so restricted and locked out. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Hello, garage door. Hello, cat. Amazing. <laughs> One side might be more flexible. Don't be too surprised. And let's go two more on this side. Last one. And from here, you're going to have both hands on that wall. We're going to swing up. Again, you can use a chair. If you don't have any of that available, just bring it up and squeeze your butt. Squeeze your butt, that's okay too. Okay. Opening up those hips, getting those rotations ready. And bring it up, woo! Let's go other side. Up, up, This side's definitely a little less flexible. At least it feels like it. And up, let's go a few more. Last one. And go ahead, hands on the hips, a few hip circles here. Bring it around time like SpongeBob. Really stick your butt out and back, especially if there is your significant other back. You'd be like, hey, what's up? You should be working out with me too. And they'll be all on their computer covered in a blanket with coffee next to them. And they'll be like, well, I, I think you should just join me. <laughs> I got to shake it out. All right, toes facing out, keep your chest up, sink down, bring it up, squeeze your core, try not to lean forward too much, 
Keep your back as flat as you can. Ooh, and they're over there on Reddit being like, whatever, I'm looking at the newest memes. <laughs> I enjoy doing that too. Let's go two more. Last one. And shake it out. One more. We're just going to come up on the tippy toes. Really nice and simple, but I want to warm up those calves because we will be working them. So we are not doing cardio. <laughs> Who am I? Who are you? I don't know. Woo! Pew. Two more, guys. Last one. And go ahead, shake it, shake it. Let's get started. Rawr. Okay, 15 seconds. Woo! All right, grab both weights. We're starting out with RDLs. These are for the hamstrings, back of the legs. Feet are about hip distance apart. You want to keep a slight bend in those knees. We're going to hinge from the hips and then push your butt back. I like to trace my legs with my thumbs to make sure I'm close enough. Squeeze your back at the top. Sing down. Tracing it should feel like a stretch in the back of those legs. Bring it up. Squeeze that upper back. Sink down. Make sure you push your butt back. Okay, I don't want any roundness in that upper back. None of this. The dumbbells aren't leading you. You're hinging from the hips and you're slowly coming down. Moving down. Moving up. Squeeze your core. Because especially on the way up at night, I don't want you to strain your, strain your lower back. And squeeze up. Woo, that's one of those movements you could probably use heavier weights for. Okay, so I'm gonna keep one dumbbell. Now from here, stabilize on your right leg. You're gonna bring your left leg back. We're gonna sink down into a curtsy. You wanna make sure you keep your chest facing forward. So you're gonna sink straight down, come up, and then tiptoe. Woo, I need to tap down for that one. <laughs> sink down, come up, tiptoe. Sink down, come up, and tiptoe. So you'll find that the glute on that right leg really feels it, the one that's stabilizing. So if you did your left leg first, like some kind of rebel, that's okay too. And then your calf should feel it as well as your quads. You don't have to add weight, but I thought it was fun. Oh yeah. Sink down, bring it up. Woo! Come up. Sink down. Okay, so before we go to the other side, ninja duck walks. That's what I like to call it. If you don't have room to do duck walks, try to get the butt below the knees and just pulse. But if you do have room for a sink down, you're gonna wrap your leg all the way around. So wrap it around, bring it back. So see how I'm pivoting? You wanna make sure you pivot. I call them ninja duck walks because we're Try to be as quiet as you can, even though I'm talking. <laughs> Ninja. This is crazy for those quads. You should feel it. If this is bad for your knees, go to those squat pulses. Keep the butt parallel with the ground. Those quads parallel. This doesn't have to be super quick. Back around, pivot, pivot. Hello, quads. <laughs> Whoa, okay. All right, so, ooh, crazy, other side. <laughs> so if you're not used to that kind of movement, it's gonna be super challenging for you. Stabilize on your left leg this time, and then your right leg, ah, it's like a feather. <laughs> it's gonna go to the side, sink down, come up, tiptoe. Remember to listen to your body. Not everyone can do certain movements with the body they have right now. They might need to work on flexibility, stability, etc. Sink down. If you're like, cat, this isn't cardio, where my heart rate's going. Legs are a huge muscle group. They are requiring a lot of oxygen, so it's okay if you feel that way. Sink down, bring it up. Keep going, guys. Woo. Ah. All right, so dog walks again. This time we're going to the side. So if you can't do this, sink down into a squat and move from the outside leg, side to side. What we're gonna do is this. Try to get our butt below the knees. 
As soon as that goes up, and then go to the side. Working that body, working that body. If you need to use your hands, that's okay. That's totally okay. If you see a red mark here, I burned myself. I burned myself. I'm a pan. <laughs> Give me the hands. Now, if you watched my newest vlog, you would have seen that I do a lot of crazy movements now. So, this is, this is one of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. Ooh, leg burn. All right, static skater, knee up. I'm gonna grab one weight. So I'm gonna stabilize on my right leg again. Ooh. <laughs> This is like a curtsy, except we're gonna hover that back foot. So, sink down, and then drive your knee up. Sink down, see how I'm hovering. If you do need a tap, that's okay. And bring it up. Ooh, glutes. Glutes, glutes, glutes. Glutes, glutes, glutes. Ba da ba da. <laughs> shake your booty. Just shake it. And bring it up. Sink it back, press midfoot to heel, just like in our lunges, on that stabilizing leg. Keep it up, guys. Remember this, this leg that you're working right now. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so if you just stabilized on your right leg, we're gonna stabilize on it again, and we're gonna do a single leg deadlift. Now, just like in the RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, you wanna have a slight bend in the stabilizing leg. You're gonna hinge from the hips. This time, we don't have that dumbbell right next to that shin. So, slight micro bend, and bring it back. Remember, we don't wanna leave with the dumbbell. And you wanna make sure, keep your neck nice and neutral. You can pick a spot in front of you to keep your stabilization. Um, another thing is we don't wanna have any roundness in our back. We're gonna start feeling this in the glutes, hamstrings, probably in those calves too as we stabilize. Oh yeah. <laughs> Take your time. Five, four, three, two. Okay, so we're gonna repeat. Static skater with the knee up, this time on the left leg. One side might be more tricky. And some days your balance is just off, and that's okay. I don't want you to beat yourself up. You guys showed up, which is awesome. So we already got this far. So if you're struggling, it's okay. Just know that it's okay. Ooh. I have bad days. You guys, if you follow me for a while, you know some days my body just doesn't want to stabilize. And that's okay. And drive it up. Down, woo, ah, there we go. Stabilizing, ah, my body. Come on, okay, there you go. Just laugh it off. Woo, sink it down, ah, oh my goodness, see? One of those days. Oh, okay, well, we have the deadlift on the other side now. Yay, all right, so left side this time. Keep your core strong, hinge from the hips, Slight micro bend in that stabilizing leg. Oh, baby. All right, let's do it. Let's just whoop. Let's just do it. And if you do find that you really cannot stabilize, just drop the weight. You either don't need to use it, or you can grab, grab a lighter weight, even if it means it's on a different leg. Um, 
Elbows on our knees. Here, pulse up, bring it down. Pulse up, bring it down. Ooh, that's fun, right? <laughs> Try to keep your back as straight as you can. Mine's a little bit crumped in general. Nice, doing it like that. This is just mean. <laughs> if this is too much, you can just pulse it. You can just have a static hold. You can go out against the wall and hang out here. I've never done this against the crunch, so I don't know how much you can handle my beastiness. <sighs> I think it'll be okay. Keep going. Finish it out. All oh, those quads, those quads. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, we are halfway already. This is awesome. So, what we're going to do in this next one, side lunge with a single leg inchworm. So, I'm going to try to be as back as possible. Step to the side, we're going to stick on the same leg. Just like in the warm up, really push your butt back, sink down, come up, and then you're gonna walk into an inchworm, and then bring it back. Ooh. So push it back, bring it up, cat, you're like, or you're like, cat, that's a lot of shoulders and core. And I'm like, yeah, but it's also quads on that stabilizing leg. If you need to, you can bring both feet together and then walk it out. This is okay too. And also, this is working our core. Core is so important to have when you are working legs, especially when you start to add more weight. Because without a strong core, you are going to be hurting in that lower back especially. So you want to make sure it's strong. All right, it's very rare to have strong legs and not strong core though. So we're going to go to the other side right away after these. 10 seconds left or whatever is left. So go to the side, stabilize, walk forward, and walk it back. Step to the side. Woo! Bring it forward and bring it back. I know you feel it in that quad and that stabilizing leg. When you go down from that inchworm, because I sure do. Woo! Sink down, bring it up, oh. bring it back, and up to the side, bring it back, bring it up, oh yeah, okay, so next up, same leg, we're going to stick with it. three static lunge pulses, standing splits, so a little bit of yoga inclusion, y'all get the flu, um, infusion, Let's have our right leg for it. You know, one, two, three. Plant your hands on the ground and bring up that leg, the back leg. And go back to it. One, two, three. And lift. Really think about squeezing your glutes. It should feel like a stretch in that front leg. One, two, three. Plant it and lift. And back. One, two, three. Plant it, lift. And back. Yoga. One, two, three. Oof. And up. And back. Finish out, guys. One, two, three. Legs. Legs. Woo! Ooh! My goodness. I love that. Okay. Frog hip thrust are next. We'll go the other side. I'm going to grab both weights because I feel like it. Bounce the feet together. Knees out wide. I'm going to plant them right here on my hips. Squeeze your glutes, bring it down. Squeeze, bring it down. And I decided to keep my butt slightly off the ground instead of planting it. And down. Squeeze your glutes, and down. I know it looks funny, but it works. Those glutes should be out. And down. You can always stick with a regular bridge. If this isn't happening for you, if you don't have that flexibility for that frog. Keep going, guys. Squeeze. Squeeze your butt. Bring it down. Squeeze your butt and down. Okay, so we are going to repeat on the other side that static lunge pulse. So I hope you remember which leg that you're doing. Um, I'm going to bring my left leg forward this time. Yay! 
One, two, three, plant it and raise it and down. One, two, three, plant it, squeeze and back. One, two, three. Woo! I love it. <laughs> this is good. Two, three, and lift. Squeeze that butt. One, two, three. This is amazing for not only your quads, but also your glutes and your hamstrings. So you're getting it all. We're just putting it all in one move for you. <laughs> Why not? Okay, next up, feet elevated on abs, squats. Feet elevated. All right, so go ahead, bring it here. You're going to bring your heels on these dumbbells. And we're going to sink down, twist, bring it up and back. Sink down, twist, bring it up and back. So bringing our heels on these dumbbells, you're really going to feel it a lot more in those quads. And we're just, again, adding a little yoga infusion to it. Twist, nice little twist for our abs. You can always take it out if it's just not working for you or your lower back, but it's fun. <laughs> Sink down, woo, oh yeah. Keep going, and up. Ooh, oh wow, that went fast. That went by super fast. Okay, low lunge, ooh, okay. <laughs> a little bit more crawling, if this doesn't work for you, I just want you to do alternating back lunges, okay? So, what you're gonna do is low lunge, walk it, low lunge, walk it, low lunge, and turn, low lunge, walk it forward, low lunge, walk it forward. So, how much movement here? Low lunge, walk it forward. Again, alternating lunges are totally okay. You can always add weight to them if you want to. Those quads better be burning. <laughs> if they're not by now, you need to add more weight <laughs> if your body can handle it. All right, three more guys. Front to back squats. I'm gonna grab one weight, just the one. Start with it in front. So, regular squat, regular front squat. When we come up, bring it in back. Squat. Come up, bring it in front. Squat. In back. And squat. So just keep alternating. You'll find your heart rate will probably come up. Keep going, guys. We're almost done with our workout. Got that sweet booty after this. <laughs> we love it. Gotta love that booty. Whew. Almost there. Uh. And up. All right, so bridge in and out pulses. I'm just gonna grab one weight. Time to be a little bit more comfortable. Really wanna concentrate on my squeeze. So starting to bridge. Feet planted, press midfoot to heel, bring it up. Here, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes. I think I said glutes. That's okay. Squeeze, squeeze, in and out. Knees together, knees apart, and looks funny. I know it looks funny, I know it feels funny. But it's awesome. It's so good. <laughs> Keep going, squeeze. Glutes on fire. They feel it. Woo! Finish up, guys. And up. And back. And back. And out. And back. And squeeze. And squeeze. And finish it. And go. Woo! All right. You guys are doing great. So we're going to stay in this position. All we're going to do is do regular bridges. Now, if you want to make it more challenging, I'm gonna do one leg. So, 
Press it up. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three, and switch. One, two, three. Keep it up, guys. One, two, three, and switch. Woo! We are cooling down after this, unless you choose to repeat this workout. You can always skip the warm up because your body's warmed up by now. One, two, three, finish it. I'm gonna finish with both. Two, three, so I know I'm even on both sides. And done, 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 done. All right, so we have finished day three. If you wanna stick around for the cool down, we're gonna do it right after this. If not, please do like this video before you go. Share it with your friends, family, and Facebook, Twitter, etc. Day three is done. If you do wanna support my channel, the link is down below. That would be wonderful. I appreciate it so much. So yeah, let's cool it down. Arr! So much booty. So much. All right, so let's come down to the ground. Oh, my glutes. What we're gonna do is bring the bottoms of the feet together into butterfly. We don't have to flutter. Whoa. And breathe. It's really easy to tense up in this move, but try to relax. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. And just breathe. And let's go ahead. All right, take that right leg, bring it in back. Take that left leg, bring it about parallel to you. We're gonna to turn to our left side. Then you can stay here, or you can come down with a little bit deeper stretch. Relax your neck. And if you want to make a deeper stretch, you can plant your left leg and we're going to push our hips up. Push, reach behind you. And slowly come down and switch. Other side, same thing. One side might be more, um, more challenging more, or a difference. <laughs> so choose whichever is best for you. If you want that deeper stretch, plant that right arm. Push those hips up. Three. And slowly come down. Nice job. All right, let's bring those knees together. Sit in the child's pose. Relax your neck. Press the palms to the ground. Walk the hands to the knees, curl the toes underneath and push your hips back. We're going to straighten out our legs through the hamstrings here. Relax that neck and breathe. Feel some calves, hamstrings. You don't have to reach the ground. And open up those feet a little bit. And go side to side. Just crawl it. Or you can sway and grab opposite side elbows. Let's stop center, slowly roll it up, four, three, two, one, roll the shoulders, ooh, burb, all right, from here, you can go ahead, um, use a chair, use a wall, just like before, we're going to go figure four, so place ankle uh, above the knee, sit down, you should feel us opening up the hips, if this isn't for you, you can always come down to the ground, grab the back of the leg and the calf. So you either have that seated position or standing position available for you. This one's nice because I feel like I can press down a little bit easier to get a deeper stretch. And go ahead, shake it out. Let's get the other side. Whew. Whew. And breathe. Slowly bring it up. Shaky, shaky. Let's get those quads. <laughs> so you guys know this one already. Bring your knee in line with the, or, uh, like don't stick your leg out. That's what I'm trying to say. Keep your leg straight. <laughs> and remember, you can use a chair or a wall um, to help stabilize yourself. Shake it out. Let's get the other side. Woo, stabilize. Stabilize me, Captain. <laughs> Shake it out. 
right, guys, last one. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. Exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for today. We did it. You guys did it. We completed day three of our warrior challenge. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Please do like this video before you go. Um, let me know how the challenge is going for you in the comments below. Are you liking it? What's been your favorite so far? What you're excited for? Let me know. And if you do want to support my channel, the link is down below. I appreciate it so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I will see you guys on day four. Roar.